No, I forgot to lower this. Let's do this. We are live. Hello, hello, everybody. What day are we? We're Tuesday, right? Happy Tuesday. Let me just send out the notification. Why isn't it working? Uh, stream news is what I wanted to do. There we go. <laughs> I literally just noticed something with <laughs> this one is actually so funny I gotta fix it um so now hello everybody <laughs> I'm so tired and lost do you know what time it is here it's like 8 30 in the morning I literally just woke up about I'm not even gonna lie like 15 minutes ago I gave myself enough time to wash my face with water are we live? Is it working now? No, this is not it. Where is the live video? Are we live? Why isn't it working? I'll get this one should work. Okay, yeah, it is working now. Peter Smith, Ralph, Charles, King Sel, bonsoir à toi, someone. How are you? Huh? Oh, sorry, I got a text message coming in and I was confused. <laughs> I got a text message coming on my iPad. Uh, Dad is Jason Stewart. How are you, honey boo? I gave you a shout out. I wasn't sure if it was you who had gifted me the red bikini, but I gave you a shout out like a couple of times. I haven't seen you on my stream in like forever when I received the package and didn't come with like a note. And I remember you mentioning that I had another package coming in. So thank you again for gifting me this little Michael bikini. I love it. Thank you. And if it's just like a glove, I'm actually surprised because I think this was a small. It wasn't an extra small, but yeah, it fits me just perfectly. So thank you. Miguel Contreras. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you for being a channel member. Miguel, actually, it's the first time that I see you live on my streams. I always see you gifting me super thanks, but I never see you live on stream. Uh, I'm... <laughs> oh no, someone, why are you so, so, what happened to you? Charles Fedman, thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. I haven't seen you on here in a while. How are you? Um, thank you, Rafael. Gracias. Um, I think I answered everyone. You are amazing with the bikini. Thank you, Jose. It's, it's Jose, right? Yeah, it is Jose. Uh, Callus Caviar, I love you as well. Um, I usually stream on Monday, Tuesdays, but I did tell you guys that because I'm in California, uh, my time schedule is gonna change. And then next week I'll be traveling again. So um, because the time zone is gonna be completely off, like I was in the East Coast, now I'm at the West Coast, then I'm gonna be God knows where. Um, my, I try to stream today at the usual time that I generally stream, which is around like 8.30, 9 o'clock. But um, I, my schedule will change next week, so I will definitely uh, be posting when I'm going to go live on Discord. But also you guys can turn on your notifications on YouTube so you know when I do go live. I am going to log into Kick because I completely forgot to do so and I want to make sure that... I address everyone here as well. I don't want them to feel like they're being neglected. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate that. Okay, so it is working. Oh, is it a rerun? SPS Ferreira. Hola, how are you? It's not a rerun. I'm multi-streaming, so I'm on YouTube as well as Kick at the same time. So I'm just linking my YouTube uh, account if you guys would like to subscribe or chat with me there as well. Um, Peter Smith, what's up? Ultra hypnosis. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Quieras que tu estés aquí estaré. José te desea lo mejor para este nuevo año. I don't really understand what that means. That was challenging for me to actually understand. Uh, I just figured because you were on the road. Yeah, no, you know what? When I do, when I used to stream, like do live streams when I was out and about, it's just the, the, I guess the engagement wasn't as high, so I figured it's best for me to uh, just uh, stream from home for now. Hey, there's some sun. Um, 
I, I'm working with zero light, so I'm just working with natural lighting. Should we turn on the, um, the, 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 the light here, or is this fine? Is it, like, bright enough? I think it's bright enough. Like, some part, like, there's a, there's a little shade of sunshine that just came in, so it's, like, working in my favor. Mike Mike, how are you? I kind of like that name, Mikey Mike. Can I call you Mikey Mike? That's your new nickname. You're new here, by the way. Uh, thank you, Mitchell. Appreciate it. Um, chat, what time is it where you guys? Jason, what time, are you in the West Coast or East Coast? What time is it where everyone is at? Is it like 12 o'clock in the afternoon for the majority of you? Is it the evening? Or for some of you, it's 8.30. I know on kick, usually my viewers like... Um, or I think a lot of my viewers, I think from like the West Coast, like myself. So like usually around this time, they're still in bed snoring. <laughs> so I don't know. It's like usually the engagement goes higher um, a little later on on stream. But if you're on kick and if you are watching, show me sign up live or else I'm going to be convinced that my hundred viewers are bots. Just say a little something at least. Um, how is everyone's week? Are you guys excited? What is Christmas, by the way, chat? Let me check the calendar because um, Christmas is actually on, well, Christmas Eve is on um, Sunday this year and then Christmas Day is on Monday. So like Sunday is Christmas Eve. Isn't that crazy? Time flies like there's no tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just feel like this year like i mean where i am like off rodeo like it's really beautiful they decorated the christmas tree like they generally do and like a lot of the hotels and restaurants definitely decorated so like speaking of like la in general like there's a lot of decorations but i've heard other places it's like where, when i was flying here like in my hometown there was not much happening i feel like I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like Christmas this year is doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. Am I the only one who feels this way? Or does anybody else feel that way as well? And we did decorate the Christmas tree. I will post it on my Instagram stories. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please make sure to do so. Also, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's free to do that. It takes two seconds of your time. And I forgot to pin my socials. So we are going to do that right now. Sunday, Monday, Christmas. Yeah, Callis, I just checked. What do you want for Christmas, Manita? What do I want? I really want a camera for Christmas <laughs> so that I can uh, shoot in, for, in HD. Um, a camera is definitely what I would love to get for Christmas. That would be like my go-to gift. Copy link. I'm just going to pin my socials for you guys. I'm having a really bad hair day. It, I guess it doesn't help that I just woke up. Maybe it's just because I'm still puffy. Um... By the way, I got this treatment done on my... Oh no, this is not right. This is so not right, right? There's no way this is right. Is the link... There's something wrong with this link. Let me just try it out myself. Okay. And see if it works. Oh yeah, it does work, surprisingly. I thought it was the wrong link. Let me just put it back in. Oh, okay. There we go. Can someone, um, let me just pin it. Can someone like click on that link and let me know if it works? I feel like there's something wrong with it. Yeah, I don't think it'll work. Let me just try it myself. No, oh, yeah, it does work. Okay, that's weird. Uh, 6.45 in Cape Town. You're in Cape Town at 6.45 p.m. Uh, Jose, Jose, hola, hola. 12.45 à Martinique, à minuit 45 ou midi 45? C'est l'après-midi, non? Army man, what's up, what's up? Thank you for confirming. Bonjour à vous, Lucière. Comment ça va? Um, Anjit, I think I know you're from there because I feel like every time you join my stream, that's all you tell me where you're from. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Uh, Mitchell Garg, what kind of silly question is that? Um, I think it's quite obvious what my bra size is. I don't really think I need to really answer that question. Um, <laughs> ça va bien? Cool killer. It's nice to see you. How are you? Um, Patrick Shaw, what's up? What's my favorite Christmas movie? I think we talked about this. Remember when there was like a, something going on where they were saying how the, I don't know, I saw it I think on Puberty or Complex. 
that we're paying someone to watch 25 Christmas movies in 25 days. And a lot of people are like, I'm gonna be doing that for free. So if I can sign up to actually get paid for it, then like even better. Um, my all time favorite movie has to be hands down Home Alone, but the classic ones, not like the last one. I think there was like a reboot of Home Alone, but the best one was Home Alone 1 and 2. There were like the classic with Macaulay Culkin, they were just the best. I wasn't a fan of like the last one because it wasn't Macaulay Culkin that had like a new character replacing him and it just kind of felt a little off to me. But yeah, Home Alone, hands down. I know some of you like, um, what's the, what's the movie, the, the, I can't even remember, Elf? I know some of you think like Elf is the best hands down movie. And then I can't remember the other movie though. You're missing the Santa cap, <laughs> right? Oh, I do actually have one. Crazy enough, I should have worn it. I remember I wore it on my uh, Christmas tree decoration. I could have actually worn that today. Um, I don't know why my phone froze. I literally just noticed that. Okay. Uh, yes, those two eight are the best. Jason, you think those are the best as well? A Christmas Story. Yes, A Christmas Story. I remember that movie as well. I am finally available in Sahar's dreams. Uh, Flippity, how are you, my love? Thank you for joining. Uh, mine is Polar Express, really? Uh, yeah, a lot of people like Polar Express as well. Uh, you decided to not stream in the other room. You know what? I feel like um, the reason why I did not stream from downstairs in the, I was going to say lounge, like in the living room area is because the internet was disconnecting, it was glitchy last time, and I don't want to have to risk that, and I know that the internet is not great, like the Wi-Fi is not great here, so like I feel like this part here is like the best Wi-Fi, where it's not going to be glitchy, so I decided not to stream downstairs for that reason, yeah. Um, do I need to pee on kick? There's not really much going on on kick at the moment, I think everyone is just a bot. I don't know, people are just not talking on kick, and is, it, is anyone on kick? But I can handle kick myself. Um, cool killer. Um, Russell Merrill, hello. Charles Feldman, it's a wonderful life from 1942. My all time favorite is a classic. I've actually never watched that movie. It's a wonderful time. Life? I don't even know what that is, actually. That's crazy. Um, what else I was going to say? Okay. Uh, I was going to say something that I completely forgot. Uh, beaucoup de tissus sur mon maillot. <laughs> Quelqu'un me l'a donné comme cadeau. Un de mes viewers, justement, me l'a donné comme cadeau. Um, and I think I read everyone's message. Beyonce. Beyonce had one of the best music videos of all time. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually funny. I just read your username. Uh, I think I read everyone's message. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, the Slim, how are you? See, we've got some viewers on Kick that just joined. Kick has a major bot issue going on. Will, I feel like, um, I, I don't know if it's just like, I just feel like the engagement level is like, on Kick is like weird. It's like one day people are engaging, other days it's like you've got like 200 viewers and like one person is talking. So for me, generally, I'm just convinced that since I've, onboarded on my journey with kick i just feel like there's always been boss because it's like not possible if there's like 100 or 150 people on live on stream and only one person is talking or two i don't know maybe it's just me who feels that way um speaking of kick did anyone hear or watch i heard drake was live streaming on kick and then he got a donation of 20 cents which he thanked the viewer for and said it's going to go a long way. Did anyone watch his stream? Do you guys know if he's going to get into it? I know he's like, I think he's like um, part owner or like he has shares with Stake. So I know that he's like really good friends with like the CEO or whatnot or the owner of Kick if, from what I understand. But yeah, he was live streaming. Uh, so I wonder if more celebrities... You know how he rapped, how his like friend streamers um, make more money than certain artists or whatnot? I don't know, I just feel like um, a lot of artists begin to realize that some streamers are very successful at what they do and, you know, financially they're very, you know, well off. And I feel like it just kind of have given them like an open door, an opportunity to kind of 
branch out and do live streams. Am I just, is it just me? I feel like a lot of celebrities would be like very open to do that. Who was it recently? It was, um, what's her face? Who was the Twitch streamer? That girl there. Flip, uh, flippity, uh, cool killer. You know who I'm talking about, right? What's her name? Does it, she looks a little like, well, a lot of you think she looks like um, Megan Fox. What's her name? Also, people are using their hands for other things. So, <laughs> well, um, like for a crotchet. Oh, geez, that was funny, flippity. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? It's gonna like bug me now until I remember. Jeez, can't remember. I subscribed 167 likes. Quinton, how are you? Thank you for joining and turning on your, wait, did you subscribe or you turn on your notification? Um, Kapufuska Bonito, uh, Vicky Chag, hello from India, Russell Merrill, I love you as well. Uh, Commander, what's up? Rush my teeth's car garlic breath. Oh, I think what you meant to write is brushed my teeth. I had garlic breath. It's a Christmas movie. I figured, Charles. I was just saying how I've never heard of it. The hangovers are the best. Wait, are we talking about the movie, The Hangover? Uh, thank you. I can go to kick and moderate if you want. If you'd like to, flip it, I would appreciate that. I read that message as well. Um, the, I would turn around if I get a subscription on kick, um, and every subscription gives you a 360 and the back of this bikini bottom is really nice because it's more like a, a micro type of bikini. You love kick, really? Um, I think I read that as well. UK with love, Dickyman, thank you for joining all the way from the UK. I'm only using one arm because I don't, I'm, uh, my second one is occupied. Uh, speaking of movies, did you watch Dune 2? Wait, I didn't, well, I remember when I had told you that I haven't watched Dune 1 yet. It's crazy, when the movie came out, I was supposed to go watch it in theater, but I ended up going to watch House of Gucci with uh, Lady Gaga. And then the movie was released on Netflix and with my streaming schedule and everything else that was going on, I never watched it. And so I'm not that stoked about Dune 2 because I haven't watched Dune 1. But then I also watched the trailer and I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to be into it. I don't know. I haven't watched it though. Uh, 360 turn around for a sob, not 360 no scope. Um, Washington DC, Quentin Jones, you're from uh, Washington? It's 11 to 15, really? It's, it's 8.52 here actually. Dune, uh, I think you meant Dune, right? Thank you, Quentin, love you as well. Charles Marc, oh, Charles Marc is a French name. Charles Marc, Bikini Vermeo Voce, I think it's Voce Fica Uma Garota. Linda. I think you meant you like my bikini. Ziggy, what's up? Actually, speaking of Ziggy, um, no, you're missing out. I haven't watched Dune 1. I thought I told you about this. I saw you posting something on my uh, Discord. <sighs> Found you on Twitch, part of Yoga Girl Loop. At least your Instagram information is on screen. Well, thank God. Uh, he did, sorry, you too hard for your own good. Everyone using your content. That's so weird. Which yoga? Oh, you actually, did you record the channel, by the way, um, Ziggy? I'm trying to like click on it because I just saw the, um, was this person just using um, everyone's like yoga videos and like uh, tagging everyone or it was just my yoga video? I tell you, it's so freaking annoying when people do this. Like I don't mind when people are using content because they do that where, you know, they're showing clips of like streamers but when they're just using my content it just it's kind of creepy it feels weird to be honest with you uh do a 540 i don't know what a 540 is it's it's 852 as well here um it's 10 10 p.m i'm a good cooker like you know you enjoy what i cook i haven't really cooked much recently to be honest because i've been eating out a lot lately no, just linked as far as 
on too many private channels on YouTube yet. Lots of girls, no talking. Um, so it's like clips, right? Anyway, it just it feels weird. What I find is crazy is that I realized that when I was banned on Twitch and people were using my content and I was trying to report the channel, um, I noticed they were getting more views than I would on my own channel, <laughs> which like had my head scratching. I was just like, how is that even possible? How are they getting more views than I do on my own channel? I thought it was like the whole thing was weird. Um, looks like they used your YouTube video five minutes worth. Really? Five minutes of my YouTube video? I get so annoyed when people do that. It's just the irony in a whole bullshit is that like people can use my content, but I can't even live stream on that platform. It just doesn't make sense. Um, if you guys ever see my content anywhere, I would appreciate if you could reach out to me or if you could report it because there's like a you can go like on the video, like when they're live streaming, because I did that last time. I just click report. I wrote my name. I wrote like, I just explained that that was a me and then I sent it out. And um, it took them like literally a couple of minutes to uh, ban or I don't know, they removed my content. Um, invisibility power. <laughs> Um, dear Sarah, dear Sarah, my name is Saharita, not Sarah. So sweet, so beautiful, so sexy. I love you and kiss you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was funny. It's like as if you wrote a letter to dear Santa. Um, Bota Mayo, it happens naturally. I actually, I was pretty good at answering you today. Uh, is it fun to grab your own? <laughs> there is one thing that I, uh, wait, is it subconsciously do? Like, I don't realize that I do it all the time, but I don't know why I have a tendency of doing that. And yes, it feels good. I don't know because it's like mushy, but uh, not too mushy. You know, I don't know. I just like grabbing on meat, I guess. Like my own meat, not like manipulating meat because I don't like touching meat in general. 26 tag, it's been a hot minute. I have not seen you on here. How are you? Uh, you're off school right now, right? Because it's the holidays. So I guess you get like a two weeks break from school. Um, and if so, are you excited for Christmas and the fact that you don't have to attend class? You still haven't watched Kokula. I wrote, I read that message, by the way. You still haven't watched Dune part one. You're missing out. Jeez. My holiday is good. I can't complain. I'm super grateful, very happy, very thankful that I got to come to Cali. And I'm glad that I'm spending Christmas here. But I have mentioned on my previous stream that um, I'm not allowed to stay here for a long period of time. I was planning on coming here and staying for like three months. Um, but because of some of the hiccups and I don't know, obstacles and pushbacks, I had issues at customs and so I have to leave here at the end of this week. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to go because I don't necessarily want to go back to Canada. Um, so I want to kind of like travel somewhere for a month and then go back to Canada. And so, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go, but uh, that's what I'm figuring out right now. And then I won't be able to come to LA for a while because of the issue that I had at customs, which makes me really sad. You don't care about Christmas anymore? Uh, here to ask a question, how are you? Travel to South America. You know what, I'm going with my family. Um, and so like, um, my family has friends somewhere, so I might just go stay with them there for a bit. And uh, like a couple of days at a hotel, maybe a couple of days at Airbnb and the rest of the time with them. Um, and then that's like pretty much it. And then going back to Canada. I don't really know anyone in South America, but I, I think I would fit in if I go anywhere in South America. <laughs> yeah, cousin, did they bug you again? They did. They literally stamped my passport. Like, they usually, like, at, at first I've never been used to this because I've never had this issue, but like, they take you in a room and then you gotta wait your turn, they call you, and then you go at the front and you have to speak to an agent, and then they ask you, like, like why are you entering the country so often why are you here like you're not allowed to come in as often and um, that they're going to deny you from entering if I continue repeating this and that I have to stay in my own country and that I overstayed and that blah 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 and then they kind of like gave me a stamp and they're like you got to leave by the 27th 
so they really didn't give me much of a choice like it's like if you don't leave at that time then you get denied access to ever enter again and so i don't have a choice and i have to leave so i'm like that it, it really sucks because like they literally gave me like two weeks <laughs> like you could stay here for two weeks and i was like i was planning on staying here for like at least three months you know but yeah and <clears throat> no you're not allowed you're allowed to travel in but if you're staying like one month three weeks and then you're going back and you're coming in and you're going back and you're coming in but for short period of times like if you notice when i do come like i like to stay a couple of months and then go back and no i didn't overstay i don't know what the problem is but they keep telling me that i can't come in but i did there's like a website that you could go on and then it tracks all of your like outbounds and inbounds of like entering and leaving the country and then so you calculate it yearly and like when I calculated for this year when I was coming that's why I stayed as long as I did in Canada I was supposed to be more than fine but they keep and then when I would ask them when I could come back they wouldn't want to answer the question which was also very annoying uh yeah what's up you look a bit upset and exhausted is everything okay no you know what it's because i literally woke up at 8 30. <laughs> i think i woke up at 8 20. i woke up at 8 20 i brushed my teeth washed my face put on my cute little micro bikini that jason stewart gifted me and then i decided to live stream so i'm still a little tired and i had my um facial treatment done remember guys i told you guys on Monday, I'm going to get my Morpheus treatment. So I feel like my face, like, um, no, it wasn't on Monday. Sorry, I got my Morpheus treatment. On, yesterday was Monday. I got it on Friday. And I was supposed to stream right afterwards. But my face was just so bloody and red and puffy. It was, like, out of control. So I wanted a couple of days for it to heal. I did the same treatment that I did last time, which, by the way, I had filmed it the first time. But I never posted it on my YouTube channel. Um... So let me know if you guys would like me to edit that and post it. Also, I have a yoga video that I've been waiting on Mozzie to edit for me. I was supposed to post it last week and didn't work. So hopefully it will get back to me by this week so I can post it for you guys on Sunday. Like, that's the plan. Yes, this is the micro bikini. <laughs> it has, like, that little stringy in the back. Um, uh, yes, that's the one I was talking about. Uh, esperado tu zeta uh, Giovanni Bellecia, hello, hello. It's Jaden. How about you subscribe or join my YouTube channel because there's a lot of yoga videos there where you can see my little tootsie feet. Uh, I was gonna write T T U instead of Y T. There you go. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about Drake, but nobody really answered me. Anybody, anybody heard about the, I'm trying to fix this. There's something wrong with this phone. It keeps like freezing. I don't know if it's because I don't have a, no, oh, this is not it. Yeah, did anyone watch uh, Drake's live stream that he hosted on Kick? Any feedback? How long was it? Was it like a five minute stream? Was it like a two hour stream? Um, yeah, I can... You guys let me know what was going on there. I won't use the term micro. Why? Because we're on kick. I mean, I don't know. Freaking Twitch recently updated their TOS. And their TOS says that you could literally just come naked on stream and do as you please. But God forbid if Saharita wears a bikini because that's a big no-no. Um, do you still have your big toe? I still do. And actually, I painted my toenails and they're red now. So it kind of matches my bikini. I still have my toe. Um, I mean, I feel like it's not ever going to heal at 100%. I've mentioned this in the past. I feel like sometimes, depending on how you like stub your toe or hit it or injure yourself, it's the muscles within your, like, you know, like not the nail, but like the muscles in your toe. Um, there's always going to be some form of like, I don't know, discomfort, I would say. Uh, habla mucho y se mueve poco. Sabiduria, saludos. Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm not a big fan of Drake as much as I like Kanye. I didn't even know that you like Kanye, but I know here to ask the question, you love Drake, right? Uh, Jason, I thought we talked about this so many times. I, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to like re-mention it, but like 
Last summer, I stubbed my toe when I was live streaming against like a concrete bench and I was barefoot and I was gonna start working out and it was extremely painful and excruciating and I started gushing blood and then the toe turned into an infection and then I got like um, pimples all over my skin because of uh, using too much, um, what's it called? Um, oh my God, polysporine and uh, I was traveling and I was wearing socks and it just got worse and then I got like fungus and it was just like a lot of pus coming out of my toe and skin it was disgusting and I was in a lot a lot of pain I couldn't go to the gym for like seven months eight months that I didn't go to the gym I couldn't wear shoes it was just really 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 a terrible and traumatic situation but it's healed now I still feel the pain a little but it has healed so now I can wear shoes and everything is fine. I could go to the pool. I was like, I wouldn't go in the water because of it either. Uh, Blue Flog, nice to see you here. Juan Roman. <laughs> the mammoth from Ice Age stepped on her foot. You're so funny, flippity. But yeah, no, it was just that. But it was also the fact that I remember during my birthday, I went to Vegas and I couldn't use this. Like I went to the spa, but I couldn't use the hot tub, I can use the sauna room, I can use the steam room. Um, and when I would live stream by the pool, I wouldn't be able to go in the water uh, because of my toe issue. Uh, toe never really heals fully. The only thing on the human body that if it does, then you're like, yeah, really? I didn't actually know that. Uh, Saharita, it's Ethan. Blue Flog, your real name is Ethan? I think I read messages here. We're so close to 5k followers on kick. Oh my god, cool killer. I thought I already had hit 5k on kick. This is so sad. <laughs> well, how long did it take? Like freaking eight months? Jeez Louise, thank god it's free to follow me. Uh, how does being away for vacation for a month work with your boyfriend you had during your birthday? <laughs> oh, with your, during your birthday for a vacation for a month work. When did I say I had a boyfriend? Uh, Chippity Chad. I never said that. I said I received a birthday gift from a someone, but um, I think he just jumped and made assumptions there. He had asked the question. Yeah, no, I'm going with fam. I like, like I said, like I'm planning this week. So next week when I'm going to stream, I'm going to be in a different destination and I'm going to be in a completely different time zones. So I regularly stream at 12 p.m. East Coast time, which is like 9 a.m. West Coast, like around 8 30, 9 a.m. But um, I'm gonna announce like on Discord when I go live like a couple of hours earlier so that you guys are aware. Um, Cause it might be like your, my mornings might be your evenings. So yeah, I'm gonna have to like figure that out. Uh, I know, and the other thing I'm worried about is the Wi-Fi. I'm like, I hope, I hope that the Wi-Fi is going to cooperate cause or else I'm gonna be really, really sad. I don't know how people do it. People from like foreign countries that stream, like how do they do it? Do they have like good reliable internet connection? Because at some point it's not really just the reliability of your Wi-Fi or your modem. It's mostly because of where you're located that the Wi-Fi might not be good. So I guess we'll see. Um, that's crazy, Sahara, but play hard to get. Did that someone not secure the bag? That's crazy, Sahara, but play hard to get. I play hard to get. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I'm actually sad. I literally thought I was above the 5k follower account on kick So now I'm just like freaking cheese Louise if you're watching on kick and if you enjoy my streams I would appreciate if you could hit that follow button so we can reach the 5k before the new year Because if I don't reach out before the new year, it'll be sad Hello, my honey Vanny there. Are you getting anything new this Christmas? Come on, where's the Christmas spirit? This is why I wanted the stream to be from the other room. If I'm getting anything for Christmas this year, um, I might get like um, uh, creams or like body, like not body lotions, but more like uh, face creams. I don't really know what I'm getting. We're not going really heavy on Christmas gifts this year. Last year we did. This year is just going to be more like friends and family just getting gathering around. We're having a couple of friends come over as well. So it's just like friends and family just eating good vibes, good food and whatnot. Um, I need to like start packing this week because I have to be out of the US by like next week. 
So I got to start packing and getting my shit ready before I leave. So there's a lot of that going on as well. Is anyone doing like Christmas gift exchange or are they getting anyone in something extravagant? I mean, I would love to get a camera. Like that's like my go-to item that I really need for live streaming. So I can stop using my phone and actually use a camera and then use a camera to also film uh, yoga videos. So that would be the thing I would want the most. Um, Best bikini, a tiny bobby. You can thank Jason for that. He gifted it to me. Host Geldin, Yajin, Merhaba. I don't know what Host Geldin means. Uh, fan, I'm Persian ethnicity, originally Canadian. I'm currently in Los Angeles. I know for some of you that have been on this journey with me from the very beginning, it's like, you know, at this point, but for some of you that are new to my channel, it can be a little confusing. <laughs> so you're going to be spending years in LA, right? No, I can't. I have to leave before that. That's the problem. I was like really upset. I was like, geez, couldn't they at least give me to like January 5th or something a couple of days or like at least till like January 2nd, uh, but I have to leave before then. So I can't, I won't, unfortunately. Uh, I've been in the stream here to ask a question. You've been on this journey with me since Twitch. Since I started on Twitch, I remember once you joined and you started like asking me a lot of questions and I was like, oh, I, I was answering all of them. And then from there on, we kind of like clicked and then you just kind of joined. I think it's been since like, I've been streaming for now two years, right? I think it's gonna be two years in Jan. So I think you've been on the journey with me for the past year and a half. The first like four or five months that I started streaming, you weren't like, you would never join. So I think it's been like maybe a year and a half or maybe a little less than a year and a half. I can marry and can get citizenship. Tiny Bobby, that would be awesome. That's all I want. I need either a job, literally, I'm gonna have to start like job hunting for something or um, getting married, that would be option two. <laughs> so you're gonna be spinning and I read that as well. Uh, my question was skipped two times. Blue flock, I'm sorry, I was uh, reading off of kick. Uh, are you at a hotel or house? No, I'm at a house, blue flock. I answer your question. Edward, hello to you. Um, and I read Kokiler's question. Turkiye gel. Van, that's a, that's a secret. Um, hello to you. And Jose, gracias. Um, I got laid off last week. Job market sucks. Wait, yeah, I think it's a year and a half. Wait, I'm confused. Didn't you say you have your own business? Yeah, it said that you work for yourself. Um, job market sucks. Does it really? I haven't really looked into anything. <laughs> I was mostly doing it for my card more than anything else. Get a job in a gym. You look fit and you communicate well. Yeah, no, well, because the thing is, tiny Bobby, I'm Canadian, so why would they hire me at a gym here? You know, because they'd have to like work on my papers. So I don't think the gym would be a great place for me to apply because anyone could get a job there. It has to be something specific so I can like get my visa. It can't be like just like a gym, you know. I know if I if I work at a gym, I'd be like live streaming every day and getting in trouble. <laughs> I'd be at the cash drop room. Um, my talent is chipping, it's literally engaging, chatting, networking. I love chatting. I think it's like, like just engaging with people is what I enjoy the most. Uh, what did you write? It's, why does Samar have seven bottles of soap? Where are the soaps? Oh, you're talking about the soaps here. I don't even pay attention. You guys can see everything here, but um <laughs> they're definitely not vinegar my vinegar is in a bottle of spray and I actually I actually sprayed myself this morning with vinegar I don't know why because I don't even smell but I I have like a, a spray thingy so I just like dab it and well I spray myself and then I use a cotton pad and I dab the vinegar uh, I think by the time I'm your age, I'll also be retired, so it's not uncommon. That was a while ago. I've been working for a few year for a year now. Oh, I did not know because you mentioned that you slept through an interview. I thought it was like interviews to get clients, like you were consulting. You were a consultant. I think that's what I thought it was. Um, how people just ask what's your talent that is so you know what i don't take it the wrong way like what is my talent i guess like 
just being in front of the camera and live streaming and like trying to engage with everyone and talk about anything and everything and being able to handle multiple conversations at the same time is a talent working out as a talent being fit as a talent um dressing well as a talent these are all talents to me so i never take it a bad way um <laughs> so i didn't take it i didn't say it the way you did but maybe it's like that person would ask like i don't see anything like what what are you good at as in like you're not good at anything like maybe it could come off that way i don't know i always try to look at the positive way of things that makes more sense cool killer she has seven vinegar flavors for the outfits do you ever see those videos where the guy is interviewing while he's on the drive up line no at mcdonald's no i haven't can you share them on my discord channel because that would be something i would be into and that's something funny is it on instagram if you could share it on my discord channel i would definitely watch it uh no my startup failed two years ago oh i'm sorry to hear that i hope things work out for you here to ask a question uh matthews Barbo, hola hola oh i forgot what i was going to talk about besides doom 2 i asked you if you watch the drake thing i asked all of you if you watch the drake thing you said you're not into drake but nobody really answered nobody on kick answered i guess nobody cares if you guys all watch it never said anything um and just for the record i do too <laughs> answer you just skipped my chat and yeah i know i saw your message cool killer you answered earlier um alien hello to you let me just uh there was something else i wanted to talk about oh yeah remember when we were discussing how tinder was going to be launching a, i think it's like a 4.99 or 5.99 i think it's like a 500 dollars subscription to the dating app we talked about this over the summer they officially launched it but the 4.99 or 5.99 subscription is only available to one percent of subscribers um, so I think they're trying to do this like exclusivity thing where they're like very filtering through every subscriber to see like it's, I think they're trying to become like Raya and to be honest I don't think it's gonna work because I feel like the majority of your people that use tinder is more for like a one night stand and like a hit and run or whatever you want to call it but I don't think tinder is like a go-to app for like a serious type of relationship i don't know i've never really used that app i've actually never used it um so i wouldn't know but who's open to paying a 500 dollar a month subscription to use tinder app some people are like it's so sad get yourself like a friend or a job or go to the gym or go to a cafe like who on earth would pay that but then if you look at it some people are just really looking for like a serious relationship and so they feel like if you're paying for a subscription then at least you're filtering through all the nonsense and you know that people that are on the app are also looking for something serious i don't think anyone would pay a 500 dollars subscription fee if they were to just want to you know have fun on a one night because they could just do that through the regular application but yeah it's like i think it launched isn't that wild did you see that verdict with Jonathan Majors, Straight Trash? No, I don't even know who Jonathan Major is. Am I the only one who doesn't know who he is? Rambo, how are you? Um, I think I'm just gonna open this. Uh, is the biggest gaslighter. <laughs> Wait, why would you say that? Someone loves to say no. Uh, answer but never reads chat. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm starting to notice what I've been talking about for ages now. Cool killer, can you stop being so salty? By people you mean here ask a question. Most people are understanding by the fact that they know that it's kind of like challenging for me to read two chats at the same time. And I know a lot of you would not be able to do it. And I'm sure if you're in front of the camera and I literally act salty that way, you guys would be like, well, it's hard to like, you know, juggle two chat boxes at the same time. There's an application, Flippity, it's called Restream. And you can merge two chat boxes into one so you don't have to carry two phones. I haven't downloaded the, ouch, let's move this out of the way. I haven't, um, should we go lower? I don't know, or maybe we should come closer. Closer. There we go. Am I, am I close enough or not close enough? And can you guys see my full body? 
Uh, hello, Merry Christmas from Sarasota, Florida. Willy Willy, how are you? Uh, is the pretty that only gives you attention when she wants to? That's actually not true. I get, I tr actually, I acknowledge all of my viewers as best as I can, to be honest with you. Uh, I just talk gibberish all the time, so I don't expect an answer in the first place and can never get disappointed. <laughs> that was actually funny. Um, Merry Christmas, beautiful. Char Charlie, how are you? Uh, Matthias Barbo, are you supposed to be my Christmas gift? You're like peeking out of a box. Someone wrote something in English or per in Farsi, I think, but I can't read it. Uh, Jason, can you tell me who Jonathan Majors is now? I want to know if I'm the only one who doesn't know who he is, actually. Um, chat, can you guys see me? Is my body showing? I don't know, my camera is showing like up to here. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure you guys can see. Um, oh yeah, there's a new cannabis law that's taking effect, I think, sometime in January. Um, so, um, and I think it's in Cali, so basically employers can no longer like penalize or I guess fire employees for using uh, cannabis for recreational use. However, I think it's like misleading because some people might think that you could just like smoke weed and come to work high and just be completely out of it and it's totally okay, but like I don't think that's what the case is. Um, I mean, like you can just be like drunk or high and just come into work. Uh, but did anyone hear about the law that's going to be passed in California? And I think it's in California. Maybe it's in Canada. I don't think it's in Canada. I think it's in California. He's a Marvel actor for the... Oh, yes. I heard he got fired, right? I heard someone got fired because I saw Marvel and I put two and two together. He was going to be the next Thanos and they can test employees for cannabis. You can come to work high, just don't get caught. He's also here in Washington. Oh yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like if you come in high uh, at work and it's like very noticeable and you're completely out of it, like even though it's legal to use as recreational use, no employer is like, is allowed to like penalize you and say either go home or like, you know, give you a warning or whatnot. Um, so I know like that much, but yeah, I guess like if you're going to come to work high, just don't get caught because if you do get caught, then you're out. Uh, the Marvel thing, I heard about it. I heard that someone got fired and I don't know why. Oh yeah, I think there was a legal case of like harassment or sexual abuse or like there's like an ongoing case uh, with a, a Jonathan Majors, I think is what his name is. And so because of that, they fired him. Which really sucks. I don't know. I, I never understood why certain people who were like successful, they really made it. I know it happens a lot with rappers as well. It's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like, once you made it and you're successful and you have a platform, like why go back to the streets or why do something that's going to like penalize or affect your career and whatnot? Like you finally made it. Like, why would you do something to like hinder that? It just it blows my mind because I've seen recently a lot of that going on, like whether it's allegations, accusations, whatever the case may be. And a lot of it has to do with like violence, sexual abuse, harassment and shit like that. And I'm like, or like, you know, like possession of gun or beating up someone or like, you know, making money, but still being on the streets and doing all of that bad shit. And I'm, I just never really understood it. I feel like some people, they just love to get a high from that and it's like even if they're successful they're not going to be content with what they have and they want to go back to the streets or they still want to rebel or just be a bad person i don't know is it just me who feels that way uh i know damn well not to be effing with as a why would you say that he was found guilty because his dumbass decided to date a white woman. Wait, why? What happened? There is uh, allegations or accusations or there's an ongoing case with him and like I think sexual harassment or abuse. Maybe they're successful because that's who they are, the gangsta. Well, no, because you know how like certain celebrities, like you know like what's his face? Um, now I can't even think of his name. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, what's that dude that again went back to jail? Like R. Kelly 
and that there's a couple of other rappers that like uh, stole from someone, had like possession of like gun, illegal gun, that shot someone, that killed someone. And I'm like, you didn't, you were a gangsta, but then once you made it in the music industry, you like you made it. So like, why are you going back to your old roots? I don't get that. It's messed up. Dinner time coming back after. Bye bye, flippity. Bon appetit, by the way. But major crimes wasn't street related. His crime was assault and harassment. It's physical, not sexually related. Uh, oh no, I wasn't talking about him specifically. I was just talking about in general. I've noticed that there's been a lot of allegations and accusations against artists, rappers, uh, actors, whatever. And some of it is actually like backed up with proof and fact and whatnot. And I'm just like, I don't really understand why you guys put yourself in that position. It wasn't Bill Crosby. Tory Lanez was the Met guy. Yeah, it was Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez has like 10 years in jail. And then who was that dude from um, uh, the 90s show uh, that Ashton Kutcher and his wife, for some reason, I can't remember her name, backed him up and wrote a, wrote a letter and he was, but he was like, the accusations were there. Like he had raped girls, like there was a lot. And this was like, he was part of Scientology. So that's already a messed up cult right there. I, stories I've heard about Scientology and whatnot, but yeah, like he got, and he's in jail and he has a daughter. I don't know, it's just messed up. Yeah, it was that 90s show. I just, I don't know what the dude's name is from that show. Just because Major is black don't mean his crimes are gang related so hard. That's uh, just because Major's is, wait, what are you talking about? Harvey Wine something. Uh, Harvey something? Yeah, I'm talking about that guy. Um, I can't remember what his name is, but like, you know, and then somebody actually came on when the Diddy accusations happened, which I, I believe 100%. You know, there's too many girls that came out and said this. Um, you know, he doesn't, he looks weird. That guy looks just creepy in general. Like there's something about his eyes that are like, you know, when you look into someone's eyes, you can tell if they're like nice, genuine, or if they're just somewhat evil. I don't know. I could read a lot by just watching someone's mannerisms and eyes, but he comes off as a creep. But like, um, after what happened with him, there was an artist that came on TV. I think it was like an interview. They talked about PDD. I don't know. Like, I just saw like him just saying like, you know, that's like the majority of Hollywood. If everyone starts like, you know, people have done much worse apparently. And that like, if everyone gets accused and like arrested or whatever, like there's going to be only that 1% that never did anything bad, uh, which gets me like thinking how like Hollywood in general is so twisted and messed up. Did he did that shit for sure? Oh yeah, I know that. I know for sure he did that. <laughs> he just came off as, um, Diddy is a vibe. And then down, lovely to see you, how are you? I don't know why they're so glorified. People should just stop listening to rappers that are criminals. That man is in jail forever. Jason, you're talking about the 90s show, dude? Is that what you're talking about? Or Tory Lanez? Uh, Manny, how are you doing? Honey boo? Uh, Rappers go to jail all the time. Um, oh, Harvey Sw Weinstein. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about Harvey. The 90s show. He he went to jail a while ago. Uh, Hollywood's weird. Honestly, like when you sit around these celebrities and artists, whoever they are, like actors, actresses, you get to see how unhappy they are and how they can act normal and socialize with people unless they're like under the influence of some form of substance because they're just so either insecure with themselves, socially awkward or like really depressed and anxious. But then you get to like, be like, oh, like my, I'm very normal compared to these people, you know? Cause they're just so off all the time. And I'm not saying like all of them, but the majority of them are. Like the majority of them, when you see them, you're like, they're just so messed up with everything that's going on. And you would think that like money would like not, fix everything but give you you know resources available to you that are accessible where you can 
you know, if, if you're going through like depression or anxiety, you have like all of the money to like deal with it, like through like therapy and like, you know, get a trainer and like every resource that's available to you when you have money at your display. But like, even with all of that, they're just so like weird and messed up. But Hollywood is weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love your rich video, NSY. How are you? Uh, oh, it is that 90 show guy. Francisco, hola. Uh, therapy doesn't work. Therapy is a big waste of money. Glitch out. Hello to you. That's because people have money. People only do this shit because they have money to get it pushed under the rug. Zai Zai, how are you? I'm sorry, uh, Bill Crosby was maybe the biggest star. Why would he want to drug women and then rape them? He literally can buy escorts there. Seriously, tiny bobby, like that's what I think. Like that's what I see. I'm like, when you have like the resources and like the money to your, like, accessible to you like why would you want to go and like do such a especially because you're such a public figure and you have like a reputation and people like look up to you and then to have these type of like accusations and then the accusations being real it just goes to show what a horrible person you are and like you said like you have the money you can get like you know what you just mentioned which i don't want to mention because i'm on youtube i don't want my video to get restricted but yeah like you have those things to your accessible to you like why would you do that it just doesn't make sense that's why i say they're like you know they're like twisted i guess therapy is a big waste of money i guess it depends i guess like for some people maybe it's the therapist that's the issue maybe you know it's you gotta give it some time it's not like a quick fix of like one week or two weeks or one month you gotta at least go through like a year of therapy to see if it really works for you. It's 70 show, not 90 show. Oh, that's 70 show. Yes, why did I say that 90 show? <laughs> oh my God, did I not say that 70 show? Um, I recently watched Kanye yapping about how he yoinked a Soul Lab Backstreet Boy. Yes, this video, go, his videos go viral and now he's been with this new content creator after Kim. I don't know, it's just weird. Um, it's she's not a content creator this girl is an architect she's from australia see i i like <laughs> when it comes to celebrities i kind of know my stuff but yeah no they've been together for a while she worked for him when he was in a relationship with kim and i think he's the type of person who can't be alone and he was so in love with kim that when kim was like i'm done like there's no way I'm continuing this like toxic relationship or whatever the case may be. I like he like had to find someone immediately. Like he went from one relationship to another the minute they like she filed for divorce. And then she ended up marrying this woman, which I don't think is going to last long, but to each their own. A year of uh, a year of is a 10k. A year of wait, a year of what? Oh yeah, a year of therapy is not expensive to see if it works for you. Therapy is good, but it's expensive and doesn't really fix, just makes you feel better for a time. I think therapy is good, but it also depends on your therapist for one. And I also think that therapy is good, but you gotta put in the work as well. Like there's like a healing process. So you gotta like, you know, work on yourself and like grow from the experiences during that therapy session. So I guess it's just more like, it's not like just going to ter therapy, it's like going to therapy, but then working on your past traumas as well. Um, Cause you know, you do therapy like once a week, you still gotta work on yourself. Um, so I think it's like a very complex and I guess everyone's experience and situation is very different. You try to get the modeling jobs or acting, you're geographing in the right spot. Yes, Tiny Bobby, but I never apply. I'm like not the kind of girl who's going to like go out and like reach out and you know, it's like, which I should, I just don't do it uh, because geographically, like I am in LA and that's where the Hollywood scene is and that's where all the opportunities are and blah, blah, blah. There was one TV show a few years back that wanted me to join and I had completed, they reached out to me. And I completed the questionnaire because I was an American. The producers were like, we need someone from the US. So I wasn't able to join the show, but I haven't really looked in into anything. I would, I would like to be part of like a reality TV show or something. Wouldn't that be cool? You guys would be like, we know her, it's sad, he's up from YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yes, he was on that 70s show. 
rappers all the time as sex is my therapy man down is it really <laughs> they had a spin-off show for that i do believe he was in that 90s show wait there was a show called the 90s show it was a spin-off Oh jeez, and you're laughing at me, man, down because I said the '90s show. I'm in love with Miss Santa Claus with Stockman. Hello, I think a lot of people end up in Hollywood or fracture to begin with. The irony is the acting or music is like therapy, but the frame that comes with it is toxic. Poopot, I think that the issue is that people's ego. Like I'm not even kidding. Like the minute you give a little bit of money to someone who never had it, or a little bit of fame and attention to someone it's just like some people don't know how to handle fame or attention and their head gets too big and they become this person you know that they're like a somebody and then they disrespect people or they just act differently like there's nothing wrong from like growing and changing because that's just part of life but when your head becomes too big and you become like standoffish or like rude or like I'm a somebody and you're nobody or you know that kind of like attitude I feel like some people just get lost in it all because they just don't know how to like handle it because they have too much of a big ego and that happens a lot when people become famous they just like forget who they are um, so I guess that plays a part as well Kim did the same with Pete Davidson uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, she just wanted to get back, like, you know, she wanted to get her mojo going again, but, I, I mean, she did use him, it was just, like, a one quick thing, like, there was no way that this was going to be, like, a relationship that was going to last, I already knew it, and I think a lot of it had to do with just keeping her name out there, like, publicity stunt, you know, oh, my booty, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, um, a lot of like these people need to stay relevant all the time and even though they're like very famous i don't know they have like this anxiety in them that people are going to forget about them and you know it's like a marketing thing so i think a lot of it had to do with like just pr and marketing to have her name still out there and i mean it worked everybody was talking about it um and i answered tiny bobby as well yeah, i did answer him uh, bonjour, gros bisous de français, j'espère que tu vas bien. Bernard, dis long galant, hola, hola, je sais pas pourquoi je t'ai dit hola. Bonjour, comment ça va? Is that a glass shower this year? Yeah, it's a glass shower. Are you jumping into the shower? No, I'm definitely not going to jump into the shower. I need a massage. I do. Uh, I definitely do. I've been going really hard at the gym the past few days. And after my stream, I'm actually headed out to go to the gym. That's why I was trying to sit down because... Um, when I'm going to do my workout, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to put a lot of pressure on my lower back. I don't know. Yesterday I thought I was going to faint. So I go to this gym where it's like, I think you guys call it like a 3D, 3D gym or whatnot, but it's like lighter rooms and it's infrared. So it's like hot temperature rated rooms. They're extremely hot when you walk in. So by the time you're done the workout, like your clothes are drenched in like the wet, like I'm not even exaggerating because it's like a hot heat room and um, you're sweating when you walk in. So it's like by the time I'm done, I'm like dripping, like there's sweat everywhere on the floor because everyone is just sweating and it gets wet everywhere. So um, I thought I was going to faint yesterday. I did two classes of like hot, uh, I did like a bar class and a Pilates class. So it was like hot bar, hot Pilates and like I was giving up in Pilates class. I couldn't even work out anymore. I had to take breaks in between. Uh, the instructor was like, let's go, let's go. And I was like, you know, doing the workout. And then I had to stop in between because I was like thirsty, tired. I was dripping sweat. I had to like wash my face. I really wanted to film once going into one of these classes so you guys can get to watch. It's like a really dark room. I won't be talking. You get... But I asked the man, like I, I spoke to the manager last, last time and he was like, you need to speak to, um, I don't know, like upper management about bringing in a camera uh, into a room. So I kind of like didn't reach out to them because I was like, oh, whatever. But I think it would be fun if I can like film the content or like live stream it, not film it, but just live stream it. Thank you, Fashri. I think your name is Fashri. Uh, bikini shower video. You know what? I actually had done man down like a bikini uh, shower video. Well, when I was at the pool, I went to shower with you guys. We showered for a couple of minutes. Yeah, the sci-fi gym. Uh, what happened? Uh, it's Sahar Babs, not Sahar Boobs. 
what happened to your stretching videos? I, I have one. I filmed one like a month ago and I need Mozzie to do the transition. So I'm waiting on him to do the transition so I can upload it. But also it's like the holidays, I'm traveling and I'm always out and about. So it's a little bit more complicated for me to take time to do videos because it's very time consuming. Like I told you guys to edit the videos as well and do the transitions. Uh, I'll probably film another one like in a week from now, something short, but uh, I already have one. I'm just waiting for Moss to do the transition so I can upload it to YouTube. Uh, and yeah, I did get banned for that. The ceiling challenge is popular. Wait, what's the ceiling challenge? I've never heard of that. Uh, what does it mean to level up? Uh, Tiny Bobby just means that, you know, you interact with me and engage with my, my, on my uh, channel a lot. So you, the higher the level, the higher presence, the higher the engagement level. Uh, Danny6, what's up, what's up? I did answer you that. Is that your bed? Um, if I sleep here, uh, I do. But if it's my bed, no, it's not. Kim did the same thing with Pete Davidson. I already read that as well. Look, my friend, greetings from, where is a year ago? A lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of time and dedication YouTube, but it's worth it. The channel is very nice. Uh, HKZ, yes, I know, um, you know, I'm very dedicated to YouTube. I've worked so hard on my channel. I've worked so hard to like stream and connect with you guys and build a community and try to create content. But a lot of people don't realize that like a three minute video, even though it's like a simple thing, is like time consuming, especially when it comes to yoga, because there's been many times where I filmed a video and half my arm is missing or half my leg is missing or the angle is like too far and you can't really see properly and I gotta refilm it. And then, you know, it's like, you gotta edit it. And I don't know, just in general for me, it's like something that's time consuming. It is worth it once you see the return on, I guess the engagement or like growing your subscribers. I wanna reach my 100K subscription ASAP, so I gotta stream more and I gotta upload more videos. So I'm already aware of that. It's just because I'm currently like, you know, vacationing. And so I'm trying to take it all in and enjoy myself. Uh, Cause I'll, once I go back to Canada, I'm gonna be there for a long time. So once I'm back in Canada, I have a lot of time to live stream and do all of that. Cause I won't be really doing much aside from that. So I guess I'm trying to take advantage of the time that I'm here, I guess. Yeah, very true. Very long to make one video. Sissy, are you a model friend? So nice to meet you. HKZ, uh, what's 9010 by the way? My trip to Spain, um, are you a model friend? Uh, if I'm a friend of a model, is that what you meant? Somebody wrote something in Russian and I can't understand, but hello to you. Can't believe we are approaching year already. Do you have any new goals? You know what? I never really, um, you do yoga videos every day. No, I post yoga videos on YouTube. So for those of you that want to go watch those yoga videos, please feel free to do so and subscribe to my YouTube channel since it's free to subscribe there. Um, do you guys have any New Year goals? I don't know. I feel like everyone has a New Year's resolution when it's like a week into New Year's. For me, I never look at it that way. For me, because I just feel like New Year resolutions are so lame. It's like, I want to be better, do better, get fit. I don't know. Like... I feel like that's something, a work in progress throughout the year. Like, I don't know, do, do some of you have like mood boards or like, you know, like things that you want to accomplish? I don't necessarily wait until like close to the holidays or the new year to want to accomplish those things. Those are just things that I want to accomplish. Like for me, one of my biggest things that I want to do is continue working on my health and fitness because that is very important to me because I feel like you know, when you have a healthy mind, you have a healthy body. And when your mind is like, you know, all tangled up, then your body is not healthy because your mind is so powerful that it takes over your body. And I've been into spaces and places like that where like I've had so much anxiety, I can't even leave my house or do anything. And it's like a scary feeling. And so for me, just trying to work on my fitness and just my health in general is extremely important. And then I would say my number two thing, and it's not a new year resolution, it's just something that I've been working on, but definitely um, just really build my platform, my social media platforms. Like that's like, YouTube is extremely important to me. And my goal is to like really grow my channel, um, you know, but 
much faster than it's growing right now. I want to reach at least like 250k subscribers. Hopefully I'm on the right path of doing that. But yeah, uh, that is my goal. So just working on YouTube, growing my community there and just building my social media platforms because I really want to make it big in 2024. So just working towards that, I guess. Uh, yeah, 110% I understand. I want to see you in another black bikini. Wait, do I have any other black bikinis? I don't know. I'm traveling, by the way, Chad. Uh, so I have a lot of my shit here, but uh, I didn't bring a lot of my lingeries and I didn't bring a lot of my bikinis to this trip, actually, ironically, because that's what I wear the most. Um, I've ordered a couple of things. I'm waiting to do the legging try-on haul for you guys, but the order that I placed said that it might arrive like after when I leave. So I tried to cancel it and I wasn't able to. So if it arrives before I leave, I'll do the yoga try on haul with those specific leggings. But if it doesn't arrive before I leave, then I'll have to do the try on haul with uh, Lululemon uh, leggings. Yeah. Hermosa Saharita, por favor, manda un beso a Miguel Amayo. Si. <laughs> Uh, thank you, HK. Your Instagram posts have been fire. Oh, your, my story. I'm trying to show more of me on my stories. I'm really a food kind of person. And so whenever I post on Instagram, a lot of it is food related. <laughs> and I feel like it gets tiring if I keep posting videos and pictures of myself. I don't know. I have this weird feeling where I'm like, I just feel like it's more content when I post pictures and videos of like scenery, food, whatever. Um, but um I don't want to post every day when I go to the gym a video of myself, but I've been going regularly. So I guess I've like done that since I've been at the gym, but thank you. Depende da ora vai pra da outra. Don't get anxious. Remember that second incident? Wait, what incident are we talking about? Do you understand? I speak English, French, uh, Farsi, um, and a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. Um, oh man down, thank you. You know, I also haven't been active on posting pictures on Instagram because it gives me a lot of anxiety. Um, like it's just not healthy for me. <laughs> That's why I gave up because I have a lot of photography pictures that I took with photographers and I have a shitload of content. For one, I have no idea where they are. Like it's all over my USB sticks. So like I'm not an organized person, so it's like all over the place. But then having to get those pictures and creating a mood board with like what I wanna put where is literally gonna take me one month to figure it out. And I know for some of you, you're like, holy shit. For me, it's like, you know, so I just kind of like never posted pictures because of that. Cause it's just like, it gives me too much anxiety. Sometimes I cry over it. And so <laughs> I know it must feel like dramatic to some of you, but I'm not even kidding. So I just like feel like it's just so much easier for me to post on my story than it is for me to post pictures. Um, bum freeze the second. <laughs> Poopon, yeah, that was like, I don't know if it's a, it's like more like of a butthole cramp. It's like the worst, most excruciating, painful thing ever. <laughs> Person I hear that word is a far from America, the country where they speak Farsi. The HK is Persian, um, so it's Iran, the country. You know what, people call it like Irani, uh, Iranian, I, I, I speak Persian, I speak Farsi, I speak Persian, yeah. Farsi. I say Farsi or Persian, actually. Uh, Jason Store, love you. Thank you again for the beautiful gifted bikini. I appreciate it. If I don't see you before Christmas, happy holidays. I hope that you eat a lot and you enjoy time with friends and family and you get a lot of gifts. I know that you mentioned that you were going away on vacation. So enjoy your trip and I'll see you next time. Bye. My new year goal is to help Sahar promote her YouTube channel and also to join a gym. You know, you can do my yoga, my workout videos on uh, start working out on your core because I feel like your core is the most important part of your body to prevent back injuries. So do my core workouts at home for a full month and then um, do cardio to start off with and then join a gym to start lifting. Because if you want to build muscle mass, if you're like tiny or small and you want to build muscle mass, the only way you will do so is by lifting weights. So yeah, and 
Thank you for helping me promote my YouTube channel. Uh, maybe you should start handing out um, my, uh, <laughs> my picture with my YouTube link to all of your neighbors in your community. Uh, I speak tongue. <laughs> I know exactly what that means, man. Dan. Paul, hello, Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Merci à toi, bonne fête de fin d'année, Bernard. Merci, bonne fête de fin d'année à toi aussi. Ah, oh, the gym, so difficult. Hello, Shisuria. I need to get better at working out my core. I always neglect my core. Why don't you do my, have you ever done my core videos? Like my yoga, my yoga core. My core videos that I posted on YouTube. Because no joke, like those are like, advanced core workouts i've neglected my core recently as well because i just do weightlifting which naturally works out your core but i haven't done any core focused workouts and i need to do my own yoga videos because those ones are very core focused and they make you really strong so you should do those uh why don't you just um yank one for one of mel's bikini for the stream yeah as if she's just gonna just borrow them to me <laughs> There's going to be a huge fight, a huge one. Feliz Navidad, prospero años, felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I used to go to elderly homes um, and um, like senior homes. And I remember singing them the song in Spanish. Feliz Navidad, <laughs> Feliz Navidad. So difficult for me at the moment. Gym is the best, the best there is. Yeah, um, honestly, gym fixes a lot of things. Um, I read that as well. Speak Spanish like native Sahara. Te entiendo todo. You know, I try to speak it with an accent. I'm not a pro. My New Year's resolution is not is to not join a gym for once. I'm sick of looking so buff. Poopot, well, I wish everyone had your problem, uh, but I mean, the problem is that I wouldn't see why you wouldn't join a gym because it's still good for your health, but maybe just don't lift or don't go as heavy on weightlifting. Maybe just do like stretching or classes or, you know, yoga workouts or cardio or whatever the case may be. I feel like when you put in so much hard work and you build your body, the minute you stop going to the gym, you also lose it. So like, what's the point of putting the hard work if you're not going to stay consistent? Just like, well, I'm sure she can forgive you just like last time. Uh, no me vas a creer, pero no sé tu Instagram. Uh, HK, my Instagram is um, linked on my link tree that's pinned above the chat box. Uh, you still and start singing Phyllis Navidad. <laughs> oh, thank you, Donna and Tiny. And uh, yeah, no, it's just it reminded me of my childhood. You don't understand. I was so like dedicated. When we would go to the senior homes, I felt like I was a singer or something. I had to know the songs by heart. I would draw the nicest cards for them or write the cute little like note for them for Christmas. I would put so much glitters on my cards. And then when you would walk in, you could give it to whoever you want. And I would walk in and I would see who I connect with. And then I would be like, I want to give my card to this person. And you would give them your holiday card to them. And you would write like a little note for them. It was really cute. I miss those days actually. Do you ever go carol singing? <laughs> no, I, I did the carol singing when I was in elementary school, like I explained, but no, I don't do that. My, I have terrible vocals, by the way. Thank God there's a little bit of echo in the bathroom, but I, I do not have good vocals at all. I'm not a singer. Uh, why don't you have a sit, hun? I think he said, why don't I sit down? I was sitting down earlier. I don't know, I'm very fidgety. I can't sit down for long, I can't stand up for long, but my booty was getting a little stiff because this is not the most comfortable thing. It's not like I'm sitting on the couch. You like my singing? <laughs> Gracias, hermosa. Coucou, ça, avec un joli chignon pour mise en valeur de tes épaules et ton buse. Coucou Luc, comment ça va? I read that as well. Wait, what was the thing I wanted to talk to you guys about? We were talking about something and then I kind of forgot. Do you guys know what we were talking about, Shreya? Um, oh yeah, I was going to talk about Shark Tank. Did you guys hear how um, Mark Cuban is Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban is leading the show? Isn't that crazy? 
how Mark Cuban is leaving the show. I don't know, a lot of people, I used to watch Shark Tank, like regularly, I really enjoyed the show, but I haven't watched it in a very long time, so I don't know what's going on. Apparently he's leaving the show. I don't think it has anything to do with shortage on cash flow, but he only invested, I think, 26 mil in the past 10 years that he's been on the show and he's worth billions, he's like a billionaire. So he also gets paid really well. So I think the money that he made from the show is the investment that he put in into uh, the people that he partnered with or the entrepreneurs that he partnered with. But a lot of people are like, I was watching the show because of Mark Cuban and now it's gonna suck. And like, everyone's wondering whether he's gonna be replaced by it. Does anybody know? Um, oh wait, I just realized my thing is not working. Not really, Shark Tank has run its course. Sorry, can you please download that multiple chat app? It's so hard to have a consistent conversation with dual streams. Um, I was looking into it, but I don't think I'll be able to use it. Oh fuck, I knew this was gonna happen. My phone always drops. I'm gonna unplug it. I knew this was going to happen today. Uh, run its course. Uh, I'm going to look into it, but I don't think I'll be able to use it. I don't know if it'll work outside of North America, to be honest with you. Um, no, it's because I've dropped these phones so many times. And my sister is sleeping, and I, I'm sure I woke her up. That's why I, should, that's why I reacted the way I did. Uh, but I'm glad that my screen did not crack because it always like, you know, I dropped the phone last time three times. So today is good. It was an improvement. We only dropped it once. Um, Mark Human leaving the show and sold a big part of his basketball team. Yeah, he did sell a big part of his basketball team. Which team did he buy? I think the Dallas Celtics, right? Or the Celtics? Be careful with your toes if something falls on you. Oh yeah, that I know. Oh, Sahar Sword. <laughs> Thank you, Shishuria. Man down, you're surprised. Who, uh, what in the hell is Shark Tank from the UK? Wait, you've never watched Shark Tank? There, I, there's a UK version of Shark Tank. It's basically these wealthy entrepreneurs that are, um, judging or you know there's entrepreneurs that come on the show with good ideas but they don't have the cash flow and they're looking uh for you know these big entrepreneurs to invest and believe in their product or idea or in their brand to invest so they can you know make money and do well um i i don't even know which of the big you know between mark cuban what's the other girl she's on that that blondie there that has like long hair she has like a show on that shopping channel or something she sells products there on the shopping channel or she owns the shopping channel or something there's a couple of wealthy entrepreneur judges mark cuban is a douche i guess now i know why you just throw away your phone after getting a new one i dropped it once to her that's still <laughs> i meant like i only dropped it once today usually i drop it like 20 times i remember when i got the phone i'm streaming on the very first day that i got it i dropped it on the floor getting into uber and i thought i cracked the screen it was like my very first day of getting that phone and i was like oh my god i already bruised it on day one um so yeah uh, <laughs> it's become Dale, dallas mavericks right I, I don't know why i said celtics i don't even know why you said that um you're right i ramble there's an Indian version of Shark Tank too, by the way. So really, there's an Indian version? I've never heard of it, but I know there's a UK version of Shark Tank. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, I think I read that as well. Nice, very nice too. Uh, you're bad with phones, so it makes two of us. Um, Skoden, show some subscriptions. How about that? Um... I think I read that. Oh yeah, that was one thing I would talk about. The other thing I want to talk about is I recently saw a hotel in Japan that charges one dollar for your stay at night. I mean, there's no such thing as just like too good to be true. But basically, I think this would cater more to like maybe a younger audience because they don't care so much about privacy because of 
social media and live streaming and all of that stuff. But basically this hotel in Japan's idea is that they charge you $1 a night, but they uh, live stream your stay. Aside from when you have personal calls or when you're using the restroom, everything else is recorded. Every, like they'll basically mute the audio, but aside from that, everything is live and the audio is working. Um, so I guess this person is trying to create content for their page to potentially monetize from it. I don't know, but it's kind of drawing a lot of attention and people are actually open to the idea, but like open to the idea and then thinking about it twice, live stream your entire stay. That means like when you're sleeping, people can hear you freaking snore and toss and turn a billion times like a rotisserie chicken or whatnot. But who would be open to the idea of staying at a hotel for one dollar a night uh, as long as you're open to the idea of, you know, live streaming your entire stay? Would you be open to that idea? Would you do it? I don't know if I mean, I'm used to live streaming. So for me personally, I don't think it would be an issue. But it's like when you're sleeping, if you snore a lot, I don't know who would want to tune in to watch you snore. I'm leaving, Fred. Can I ask you some advice for a person who recently turned 25? Thanks so much. Um, I mean, I think age is just a number, so I don't really care whether you're 21, 22, 30, 40, 50. I feel like no one really can give you a lesson. I, I guess people can just... I guess my biggest lesson is just grow, learn from your experiences and try to become the better version of yourself would be my better life lesson. I feel like no matter what people tell you, you still have to go through your own journey and your own path and, you know, go through your mistakes to become a stronger person and just try and figure out yourself so you can grow from the experience to just be better and stronger. I think that would be the best life lesson I can give you. I myself, am, I'm a very stubborn person. So if someone tells me like, don't do that, if I want to do it, I'll still do it. And then if I made the mistake, I'll just be like, I fucked up, but I learned from it and I will repeat it again kind of situation. So I guess that would be the best thing I can give you as a life advice and happy birthday to you. And I will see you later. Um, I don't know what that means. Buscar, crecer, seria. I don't know what that means. Um, but I'm sure it's only for selected people. Like I can get in there. I would do it. Wait, where? Oh, you're talking about the hotel thing. No, it's not for selected people. It's like really public and it's drawing a lot of attention because some people who don't necessarily want to pay $300 a night at a hotel, this is a great opportunity for them. You just pay like a dollar and you get your entire stay live stream. Uh, Edward, hello, how are you? But I'm sure it's only for selected people. I do it, fuck yeah, square Airbnb. You do it for $1, my own place? Hell yeah. So you're not embarrassed if you're snoring and people are watching you snore. <laughs> buscar crecer is look for growth, would it be? Oh yes, buscar crecer is look for growth. Bye. Do you ever pick your nose now, be honest? No, I never do. I've never picked my nose, but I do have very dry and flaky skin around. So like there is times where I'm like doing this because of like my skin peeling. And I use this cream that makes my screen, this cream that makes my skin peel. So like you'll see me do this, but no, I don't. I've caught people in their cars picking their nose and it's the most disgusting thing. I start gagging. I can't even control it. And it has happened multiple, multiple times. Like I'll look through the window and I'm like... <laughs> Because I can't hold myself. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not a liar. I do it. Fuck yes, yeah, screw Airbnb. Hello, Hop Dude. How are you? Ooh, I'm so not a liar. Bata Amau Termina. Termina is what it is. How long was your flight? It was five-ish hours. But I mean, like, it's not only the flight. Like, you know when you're going to the airport? I purposely went earlier. I usually go really, like last minute but because i knew i was gonna have issues at the airport i didn't want to miss this flight and i knew i was gonna get in like they were gonna take me in a room and i had to wait an hour and a half there i decided to go like three and a half hours earlier i feel like when you're traveling it's not just the flight but it's like the entire journey it's like ubering getting to the airport waiting going through customs going through security and then you're at the airport for like two hours three hours before you get on a plane and then it's like your plane ride is long and then getting off the plane going to the carousel baggage claim 
you know, taking your baggage. The whole thing is like you're spending like eight, nine, ten hours. Imagine if your flight is like 15, 16, 17, 18 hours. That's even more brutal. Well, on my next trip that I'm going to go on, I'm not really sure where. It's probably going to be at least a 10 hour flight like a 10, 12 ish hour flight. So I'm really nervous about that. I always get scared getting on flights that are too long, you know? I get claustrophobic too. Yeah, the airport is a hassle. I mean, I don't think people care about watching me sleep. I answered that as well, so I can do it. So I can do it. How are you beautiful girl? Con Atif, I'm doing wonderful, how are you? Uh, hop dude um you recently graduated oh my god congratulations i'm so happy for you are you gonna start looking for a job or are you just gonna take it easy and just chill for a couple of months and figure out what it is that you want to do i just saw a tiktok video of you in a crotchet screen wait what you're in a crotchet skirt and a blouse really i'm trying to think with that TikTok video is. Get a bikini one. Uh, what color do your toes have at the moment? My toes are red. I can't even like. <laughs> red toes. I don't know if you could see, but yeah, they're red. Uh, do you play games like board games? I used to love Buckaro and Moose Trap. Um, I do play board games, but uh, I don't play Buckaroo uh, or Moose Trap. Uh, during the holidays, like for Christmas last year, we had a bunch of board games. I don't even remember what they were. They were more like clue games. It was really fun, and that's what we did. I love doing that during Christmas or the holidays, you know, just like when you're getting together with family and friends, playing like games like that. You have to stay on for a little uh, a longer ramble. I didn't even notice. We're a little less than 100 views, but I guess it goes like up and down on YouTube, I guess. Um, seriously, that was mean. I don't even know why you would say that. <laughs> I'm anything but that say. Um, thank you, Russell. I appreciate that. <laughs> Naam for a dear cack. Mr. Roth, Robot? I don't know actually what ethnicity that is or what language you're speaking. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Is it cold out? It's beautiful. Actually, I'll take it back. Cal the weather in LA last year, for those of you who were on my stream, remember Cool Killer? Like, I would go outside streaming by the pool and it was freezing cold. December. Cold, raining every day. And it was really brutal. This year, December, the weather is beautiful. We're like in the highs of like 70s and 80s. Um, today was, last night it started raining and it was raining today. And for the next few days, the weather is going to slightly cool off, but I can't complain because there's no snow. It's totally beautiful. I'm not going to complain. I'm really happy because back home in the East Coast in Canada, it's like freezing cold and you need your winter jacket and boots. So I'm kind of grateful that I don't have to wear that. Uh, so the weather is beautiful, but of course it's cooler than like, the summertime. It's like in the high 70s and um, next few days will be in the 60s. Um, <sighs> How do I just delete this little shit? Why can't it open? Uh, board games are a big part of uh, Shrembo in our house. I always get competitive though. Why is that? because you're competitive by nature. I'm also very competitive, so I can relate to you, not in a bad way, but I'm just a competitive person. So I can relate how you really wanna win. <laughs> I plan to get my second degree. Uh, what, do you mind me asking? Uh, did you get a bachelor's degree and you're planning on getting your master's now that you got your bachelor's, I'm assuming? Uh, I arrived now. Thank you, Fernando. Yeah, to whoever joined my YouTube channel, thank you, I appreciate you. Please don't forget to click the link below to check out my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok account. They're all free to follow and subscribe to. I don't think you can subscribe to Twitter. It's more like follow. So they're all free to follow. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell and you can always join my Discord. It's also free so you get notifications when I go live because I don't know if some of you are my regular viewers or some of you are just browsing on youtube so i figured i'd throw that in 
If you have to sit, um, you go get a pillow and place it on the stool to sit on or I can come there. <laughs> um, cancel. I don't really know what your problem is. You know, I wasn't even going to ban you because like your comments don't really affect me. But it's just like, why would you even say that about me? You don't know me. Just join my stream. You have to sit. I already read that as well. Thank you, Reconcile. Uh, do many Scousers live in King Canada? Wait, Canada? I think what she meant. I don't know what she meant. Uh, I think I read everyone's message here. I wanted to talk about one last thing before I actually. Um... Oh yeah, I have a lot of Latin viewers. Did you guys hear? Not Maluma. What's his face? Bad Bunny and Kendall broke up. I mean, I know a lot of you don't even give a shit about this because this is like Hollywood celebrity gossip. Um, <laughs> that's the only gossip I'm into. And I mean, I don't think anyone is shocked that they broke up. I don't even know how they were together to begin with. You know when you're like you see two couples together and you're like, you, they just don't match? I feel like she's very vanilla and he's like very Latin, you know? Like, I don't know, I just felt like very meh. So I obviously knew that this relationship wasn't really gonna go anywhere. Um, but yeah, they did break up. Thought I'd just throw it out there. My obstacles, what does that mean? Um, and I read that as well. I think I just need to stretch for a second here. Uh, <laughs> my back hurts, it's like the only way. Ah, uh, I need to do this. I'm going to the gym after this, so we gotta, we gotta stretch that back. Um, or mom could be watching. Stop swearing. <laughs> Why do you call me so hard boobs is what I would love to know. Uh, I'm going to put my TV on. You're going to be big and I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Oh, I'm going to be on the big screen, right? I like it when you guys put me on your TV. It's not cool to watch a uh, streamer on the big screen. Uh... Jeez, what's going on? Why is there so much hate today? Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Uh, yeah, I just saw someone write twerk, and I'm like, now twerking is allowed on, on Twitch, right? That for wedgie. This thing is like <gasps> stuck in there. Um, I think I read everyone's message. Yeah. That was pretty much it. You know what they say, every successful person have that one or two that is hating on you, but you have my love. Well, thank you. Yeah, I was talking about Twitch, I can't remember. Yeah, Twitch, they allow twerking now. I don't really understand the whole twerking business to begin with. Like, I don't understand why. I, I don't even get it, but now it's allowed, but it's not allowed on kick, the irony of it all. Um, Kick was the platform that was a little bit more flexible and laid back and Twitch was the platform that was more restricted and strict and now they're allowing this but they don't allow bikinis. I don't know, the whole platform is messed up to begin with. Hire me to be your dig out man. Oh, thank you Marcus, I appreciate that. Look at you, you're literally standing there with your undirty... Uh... <laughs> Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. You know what? It doesn't really affect me, so we don't have to even delete it. No hate, only love. And Angston, hello to you. How are you? Um, there was something else that I wanted to talk about today before I leave. There was one last thing I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, there was a viral video, a video. Did you guys see the viral video of the BBC? Um, I think she's like a news TV presenter. I have something in the eye. Um, she showed like the middle finger on camera and then the video went like viral and she went on Twitter and apologized and had to explain herself uh, that that wasn't meant to be shown on camera. And then 
she went on to, um, they went on to release the video footage of her counting down to zero before going live. So she was like on the last two fingers and she did this and then like everyone kind of took it the wrong way and her video went viral. I guess maybe she became famous because of it, but uh, <laughs> it was just so funny. And the fact that she had to, if the, I think it was like BBC who went out of their way to release the original footage. Uh, was a pretty big deal. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Please give me a thumbs up. Where's the thumbs up, Marcus? Um, I hope you're having a good stream and all is well. Sugar Shane, how are you, my love? Uh, let me just do this because like people are just pissing me off right now. Okay. Uh, I hope you're having a good stream and all is well. I'm having a good stream. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to see a lot of you aside from a, a couple of bat weeds, but um, interaction engagement has been really high, so I'm kind of glad. Um, and yeah, I hope you're doing well as well. Uh, do you get the BBC in Canada? And I don't know actually because I don't watch BBC news. I don't watch TV. Like I'll watch Netflix. I'll watch YouTube, but I don't really watch TV. Um, so I wouldn't actually know. Can I have it afterwards? Ramble for sure. Um, it's morning there, right? Yes, MV. Good morning to you. How are you? Well, it's ten fourteen. I started streaming at eight thirty, I think. So I've been streaming for almost two hours. I'm actually going to be going offline because. I have my class that I have to go to, um, so I'm just gonna put this out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be going to my class soon. So you're logging on and I'm logging off. I started, I literally rolled out of bed, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and wore my bikini and I came live. Like that's literally what I did. Um, so I'm actually gonna go um, my um, gym class. I'm going to my gym class. You have been targeted by the anti, um, the harassment will not end until you repent. Uh, geez, my God. I, I'm going to bar, I'm gonna do bar. I'm like contemplating whether I should do bar yoga because both classes start at the same time. It's like in a hot, steamy room. So you're sweating when you walk in, but it's gonna be a good sweat and I'm kind of uh, looking forward to it. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. I haven't eaten anything, but I'm not going to eat. I'm going to go work out and then come back and eat. Uh, but I'm listening but talking today. Peter, my love, thank you for joining. How are you? I'm actually logging off. I've been streaming since 8.30ish, uh, but I'm going to get on with my day. I'm not going to stream till after Christmas when I'm going to be traveling again to I don't know where. I'm going to figure out my destination. So before I leave, I just wanted to say thank you to my supporters. Thank you to my regular viewers. Thank you for being so engaging and interacting with me. I pinned my link tree on YouTube. So if you guys want to click on that and check out my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok or join my Discord server, I would really appreciate it. It is free. I just wanted to wish everyone Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you enjoy time with friends and family and uh, you received a lot of gifts. If that's something that's important to you, make sure that you eat well. I'm looking forward to having my turkey. That's like my main thing. It's eating my turkey. It's like my all-time favorite thing during the holidays. I'm going to be posting a lot of my Instagram stories. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll get um, you know, you'll get to see what I'm going to be up to. And then I'm going to also have to pack this week. Cause like I said, I'm going to be traveling. Um, so this is my last stream on, in LA before my next trip to God knows where. Um, but yeah. And then also because I'm going to be, um, I'm not going to be in North America. I'm going to, um, post on Discord a couple of hours prior to going live. I don't know which day it's going to be because I usually regularly stream on Mondays and Tuesdays. So we will see what happens there, but I will mention on Discord. It might be during your evenings and my mornings. Uh, so we'll see. Um, and then also I'll try to have that yoga video up for you guys for this week. So you guys will be able to check that out. I'll try to create more content during my trip to I don't know where. Um, so that's it. But yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you so much for supporting today. I love you guys so much. Uh, MV, happy holiday to you, Manda. Love you, Fernando, Gassi, um, Carlos. Merry Christmas to you, P. Diz. Mine crashed too weird. Wait, what crashed? Wait, the stream crashed? 
um hk thank you and um I think I read everyone's message here. Here to ask a question. He's in pin. Um, and, and I think Summer's not telling us where she's going because she's CIA. No, honestly, I don't know. I'm planning my trip this week. So I'll, you guys will know because I'll be posting on my Instagram story. So it's not like a secret. It's just I have no clue where I'm going. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys. And I'll do a 360 just because I'm a nice person. There we go. Thank you guys. Love you all. Bye. Bye Chad. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <clears throat>